MightySwap can do a lot, and it's a valuable tool for any project builder. It's safe to say, though, that the majority of the cuts you're going to make on a miter saw are going to be wider than the base itself. That can make for unstable and possibly unsafe cuts. So a couple of things we're going to talk about to help with those uh, types of cuts are some work supports, uh, some things that you can make just uh, with material that you have in your shop. We're also going to talk a little bit about uh, an auxiliary fence, what it is and how that can help you make safe cuts as well. First support I want to talk about are these simple little T supports. As you can see, it's uh, basically the form of an upside down T. These again can be made from any type of material, plywood, hardwoods, anything you have around the shop. The critical thing is make sure that you build them the same height as your saw uh, surface. The reason for that is if you have any height variation, either too tall or too short, it'll impact the actual bevel or the, uh, the angle of your cut. This is great for um, if you're, you have your saw out on your driveway or um, on your garage floor, they're easy to stow away. You can make a couple of them, half a dozen of them. Uh, they're great, great uh, to have around. Another out, um, work support is um, more of uh, kind of an auxiliary. And these are good for if you're going to mount your saw to um, a dedicated work surface. You can screw these down as well. Critical thing here is to make sure that you align uh, the fence to the actual fence of your saw. You can do that with a uh, level or a metal uh, straight edge ruler uh, like a yardstick. Another type of support I want to talk about is an auxiliary fence. This is a simple uh, piece of wood or plywood again that you have around your shop that you can add to the back of your saw fence. Do that by applying a high quality carpet tape. This one in particular is a, a woven fiber tape. Um, I found it's uh, the one with the, the really the best adhesive. You remove the protective layer and then you apply that to the back of your saw. It's actually got a, a really solid grip to it. A few advantages of having an auxiliary fence. One, it gives you added support um, beyond the base of the saw. Uh, it can be used with uh, the uh, auxiliary uh, T-supports that we talked about a little bit earlier. And also you can add a, a, a stop block to an auxiliary fence beyond the base of the saw. And what that gives you is the opportunity for repeated cuts if you have um, multiples of a, a part that, uh, uh, for your project. Uh, one thing to keep in mind when you apply an auxiliary fence is the height. Um, particularly for fixed miter saws like this, Sometimes if uh, the height of the, the auxiliary fence is too large, um, it can come into contact with the motor and minimize the depth of cut uh, of your, your blade. Um, an advantage uh, when you make that first cut through your auxiliary fence, it does give you a zero clearance uh, throat. And that's nice if you have um, a part marked with your line, you can align that right to the, the edge, you know that's the, uh, the edge of your blade without having to orient it to the, the saw every time. Um, uh, another great advantage of an auxiliary fence um, is with the added height, it can help support um, uh, molding cuts, uh, particularly crown molding. So those are just a few of the uh, accessories that you can add to a miter saw to get safer and more accurate cuts.